and I'm telling y'all right now, you are never too young. I don't care if you're in your 30s or your 20s. It ain't never out of style to love Jesus. It's literally the best thing that's ever happened to me. Hey, y'all. Welcome to a brand new Sunset Talks. Um, it is a Sunday afternoon and the sun is about to set. Like, I got the sun just being my timer right now as we get into what I have for you guys today. It's meant to enrich your soul. It's meant to prepare you for a new week. It's meant to meet you at the right place at the right time. If you're open to receive the gift that I want to give you in this word today. So just get comfortable, get ready. So I really want to talk about preparing for your promise because God has really been convicting me so much about not contradicting myself in the things that I'm praying to him for and my actions that are matching what I'm praying for. So for example, me personally, and I don't mind sharing this, I've been believing God for a home, for my first home, for a long time now, for the past three years, over three years, I've been believing God for me to be able to purchase my first home. There's been a lot of highs and lows, trials and error, and it's been a journey. I would say the first two years, I was discouraged a lot about why don't I have my house by now. But it wasn't until this third year of 2023, I really realized that my preparation was not matched to what I was praying to God for. I wasn't even moving as if I already had a mortgage payment. I wasn't moving as if I believed that God could really do this thing. I was only looking at everything in the natural. And when I say the natural, especially if you're a faith person, if you know Christ for real, we have our natural thinking versus our supernatural spiritual thinking. It doesn't match what we see, you know, what's around us. We're just moving in faith. We're talking in faith. We're not talking the way everybody else is talking. We're not talking logic. We're not talking a uh, reality. I'm just a realistic person. Like we're talking faith and I was not talking faith. I wasn't moving in faith. I was being very contradicting and I was praying in faith, but I wasn't moving and acting to match what it was that I was praying for. And it wasn't until even now today on this Sunday, July 30th, as we're about to close out July, God really convicted me and made me realize, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you the promise. It's coming, but you can destroy the increase that you're praying for if you do not take care of where you are right now. And honestly, when he convicted me with that revelation, and I even shared it on Instagram, you know, as I was in the gym, I realized, oh, snap, my promises have been delayed longer than they should have been because I have not even protected or prepared or handled and stewarded well over where I am right now. And I'm just checking myself. And we all have to have those moments. We all have to have a moment of humility with God to say, God, I'm a mess. Like, I have no discipline. I don't have no self-control. I want to be financially free, but I'm not moving as if I'm already in possession of what it is that I'm praying for. And to move as if you're already in possession, it's not easy, you know, but it takes you to say, God, I surrender my thoughts for your will. I surrender my habits for your will. I surrender my cravings for your will. I surrender my regular, you know, routine just so your will can take over. And it takes a desperate cry to God to say, God, I don't trust what I will decide my next purchase to be. I don't trust it. So you're going to have to take over. You're going to have to show me how to prepare for the promise. Show me. And the promise doesn't always have to be. Your promise could be losing 50 pounds. 
Your promise could be finally getting off of blood pressure medicine. Your promise could be breaking the generational curse of of mental health issues in your bloodline because you finally went to therapy. Whatever God is convicting you to prepare for, do it now. Don't delay it. Don't wait for somebody to give you some long motivational speak speech. You have all the tools right now, where you are right now, to equip yourself with God in the lead, with God taking the wheel. You have all that you need to equip yourself to prepare right now. And I'm telling you, when you prepare in his presence, when you allow God to fully take over, when you take your hands off of it, like literally like I'm sitting in the car, when you completely take your hands off of all the things you try to touch, whether that be the wrong people to date, whether that be the wrong friends to hang around, the wrong foods you eat in, the wrong environments you ain't got no business being in, say, God, where do you want me to go? What is me having fun in your presence looks like? And I'm telling you, he will give you revelations. He will give you scriptures to match what it is that he's telling you. Um, I mean, for me, like a big passage or two books that I've really been like diving into that has helped my preparation season has been First Timothy and Second Timothy. It is something about those two books has ministered to me like never before in this season of my life. I believe and I decree and I declare that you are going to prepare well, that you are going to be in a a season as I have hiccups. You're going to be in a season. Well, you will not delay any more promises. You will not give the enemy, the devil, any more room to take over your mind, to take over your perspectives. You will fully let God in August. You will fully let God take over. You will get sick and tired of being in the hamster wheel of your confusion, of your contradictions, of your lack of humility, of your lack of discipline. You will get tired of being in that hamster wheel and you will allow God to take over like never before in the supernatural in August. I decree and declare that for you. And I'm believing as the sun is about to completely give out on me, I'm believing that your best days are ahead because of how you're gonna prepare in August. I'm believing that the rest of this year is going to be set up for the increase that was always meant to hit your bank account, that it was always meant to hit your bloodline, that was always meant to hit your health, your mind. I'm believing that the preparation you do now in August is genuinely going to set you up for success, success that a book can't prepare you for, success that a friend's advice can't prepare you for. No, no, no. This success is going to completely be contingent off of how desperately you lean on the word of God, on the presence of God, on the instruction of the Holy Spirit. And you're going to finally, for once in your life, take your hands off of it. Take your hands off it. I know for me personally, I have stopped trying to like be sad about not being in a relationship. Be sad about why this man did this. No, 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 no. I, God has allowed me to have joy in my singleness. He's allowed me to prepare for the promise of my husband. Because there's no way I'm going to be I'm going to be praying for all these amazing qualities that I want my husband to have. And I'm not preparing now for who I need to be mentally, spiritually and emotionally to maintain the person and the man of God that I'm praying for. You think that I'm going to literally take this for granted and not use this time of of stillness, not use this time of solitude to prepare for the man of God that I'm praying for. No, I'm going to use this time well. I'm going to have joy so that when that man of God comes in my life, when that knight in shining armor comes in my life, I will not destroy it. I will take care of it. I will steward it well. I will pour into it everything that God is pouring into me while I've been single. And I'm believing that same thing for you, sis. I'm believing the same thing for you, bro. And we are going to win in August. We're going to win the rest of this year. And I love you. Thank you for being a part of my Sunset Talks. And I believe in that you're going to have a great week. You're going to have a great month. You're going to get out of your own way. And you're going to love on people. 
Follow me on Instagram at more motivation, M-O-O-R-E-R motivation. As you see it on your screen, follow me on TikTok. Follow me everywhere. Like, I just want to spread the good news of Jesus because he's been good to me. I love y'all and there's nothing you can do about it.